welcome to my channel. This is Grace and I am going to be sharing with you my small house plant collection. I have about a little less than 20 plants and yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so my first plant I'm going to be sharing with you guys is my Peperomia. This is how it looks like. And I'm not sure what kind of Peperomia this is, but this is what it's called. And I got this one from Lowe's. And it's nice because they tell you how to um, care for the plant on their nursery pot. And it's from Cory Nursery. I noticed that a lot of um, the plants from Lowe's in my area are from Cory Nursery. And I have really good luck with them. So yeah, definitely recommend. Um, this one is a slow grower for me. And it took a long time now for it to even get this tall. <laughs> But it's slowly shooting out small babies right here and another one over there. So yeah, I think it's happy. Also, um, it used to have more darker variegations on the leaves, but yeah, I'm not sure. They start to fade away. So I kind of brought it back to the bench to um, get it some bright and direct light. So hopefully it's happier here. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this one is my Peace Lily. I also got this from Lowe's. Um, this one used to have a really beautiful like white flower that bloomed, but those flowers only last about a couple weeks and they start to turn brown and they will eventually wither away and you'll have to cut it off. But now I'm just left with this rich green foliage with like these vertical lines going downward. But this one's really beautiful and so like smooth to the touch. But um, these plants will definitely let you know when it's thirsty because if it's thirsty, the leaves will just droop down like that. And then you see there's like a bounce to it right now because I just watered it so it's happy. But when the leaves droop down, it's like really floppy and there's like no life to it. And you would think, oh my God, is it dead? But no, it's not. It's just really thirsty. So go ahead and water it and it should slowly go back up like this and the leaves should eventually have a bounce and um, a little bit of a stiffness to it. So it's very, very resilient, this plant. But yeah, you just kind of have to give it some more DLC. But yeah, I like it. And oh, and also it's great because it purifies the air as well. So yeah, I don't know, even better. Okay, so this one I also got from Lowe's. This is my Hartley Fern. Um, if you look at the leaves, they're like heart-shaped. And I think that's how it got its nickname. Um, this is the name of the plant. But yeah, it's super cute. It's very interesting. The texture of this one is kind of rough even though it looks like it might be like i don't know smooth maybe but yeah the touch is very rough and their stems are like this thin stem that is slightly furry <laughs> it's really interesting but it's super cute um all my little baby um babies are getting bigger now so that's really happy for me to see and oh this plant loves to have um, moist soil at all times and even in between waterings um, they don't like to get dried out and if they do get dried out um, what happened is their leaves start to shrivel up and it will become crispy and it will fool you because they'll make you think oh my god my plant is dead but it's not dead it's just really thirsty but you need to definitely keep this one moist and it loves to be misted um, regularly too but you know like whenever you can which reminds me i should give it a mist right now hold up got my mister yep now it's gonna be happy but yeah they just love to stay moist and i think also, kind of like this one, if you like to overwater your plants or you're always worried about like them drying out, then I would think this one would be a good one for you to try out as well. But yeah, Hartley Fern. Okay, so this one's my snake plant. I got this one from, yeah, I got this one from Home Depot and 
This one I had to repot because it was starting to form some kind of like uh, mushy fungus type of thing going on so I got kind of concerned so I went ahead and trimmed it off at the top and now it's a lot happier and after I repotted it this one grew so tall um, it used to be really small like a little baby like right here it was about that size and after I went ahead and you know repotted it with fresh soil it just outgrew the original snake plant and now even right in the center is forming a little baby and even that one is growing quite fast too so yeah i'm pretty amazed by this one because to me it felt like it was growing kind of slow and then before you know it it just started like growing really fast and i'm just really amazed by it but really cool and yeah i'm glad it's doing well okay this one right here is one of my favorite small plants um this one's called a philodendron brazil and i love this one because if you look carefully the leaves on it oh my god look at this variegation isn't that like so pretty it's like this lime green color and all of them have these type of variegations on it and it's so neat and they grow quite fast and it's already starting to trail over here and yeah they're really easy to grow i got this one from walmart i believe and let me see yeah i got this one from walmart and i noticed that walmart carries a lot of their plants from costa farms i'm not sure if that is a nursery or whatnot but yeah their plants um are actually pretty good um i have good luck with them too so yeah this one's doing really well and i love the pattern on it so that's my philodendron brazil and this one this one is called a tamiki rubber plant um this one also kind of has those patterns where it looks like it's water painted water painted on pretty cool i love it it's so pretty guys like just looks like a piece of art it doesn't even look like a plant to me sometimes it's just amazing how a plant can look like someone just painted on it but that's just how it looks like so neat i got this one from lowe's and i do know that you can also get this from trader joe's i believe for seven dollars or so which is super affordable i paid about i think like nine dollars for my nine ten dollars um at lowe's but yeah i love it and it's doing well this one's a brand new leaf right here and there's a baby one right here that's growing so really happy to see that it's doing well okay so that's my tamiki okay so this plant in the corner is called a calathea roseo picta or a calathea rose optica something like that um, it's also more known as a prayer plant or a medallion plant and this one is really interesting and pretty cool to see throughout the day because from the morning to the daytime you'll see the plant um, likes to be flat like the leaves and once the sun goes down and it starts to become evening time you'll notice that the plant leaves will start to gather up like that so um, I think that's how it got its name as a prayer plant and it's pretty interesting to see the movements all throughout the day and also, um, one thing that's so striking and beautiful about this plant is, look at that. Underneath is like this beautiful burgundy, almost like velvety looking um, leaf. And uh, this is what made me want to buy it because I thought it was so beautiful and so unique. And then when you come at the top, it's like, again, another type of a water paint looking plant kind of like these over here but um yeah really cool and oh another tip this plant um cannot take tap water um the chemicals in the water will 
damaged and burned the leaves so they really like to um, be watered with distilled water or filtered water so um, make sure to not give it um, tap water and also they love to have their um, soil to be moist as well they don't like to be dried out and they like to be kept well moist and in between waterings too and that is what's going to make this happen this plant to thrive and to be happy so yeah i've been having really good luck with it a lot of people said it's very finicky and it's kind of a hard one to take care of but had no problems with it and it's been doing really well oh yeah and i also got this one from home depot as well okay so this one is my monstera deliciosa and this one is my teenage baby it's going through its adolescent stages right now. Um, it doesn't have any penetrations just yet, kind of like the mature, more adult looking um, monsteras that you see everywhere right now. But yeah, this one is just kind of going through its teenager stage and it's just chilling. And yeah, it's doing pretty good. Um, I can't wait until it starts forming like those Swiss cheese looking holes and um, leaves but yeah one day that will happen one day <laughs> okay so this is my philodendron I don't know what kind of philodendron this one is I think it might be a Hartley philodendron I'm not sure but um, this one is one of my oldest plants I have and also my one of my very first plants I ever um, brought home and this plant is so well which gave me the love for plants because <laughs> it made me so proud that it was growing really well and it was just thriving and it's always like producing new um, leaves everywhere so it just got me so excited and um yeah this one i believe i got it from lowe's and it was in a smaller pot and then it outgrew its nursery pot so I had to repot it into this bigger one. And now um, it's just pushing out growth everywhere if you see. And also it might be because I did fertilize it once over um, like a couple months ago. So it just kind of kept growing more and more since then. But yeah, it's doing really well and it's beautiful. And these leaves are like heart shaped. Like that. And they're so healthy. Like really healthy looking. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, and then on the right side of it is my um, rubber plant, burgundy rubber plant. Ficus Elastica and I got this plant stand from TJ Maxx and yeah this one is doing really well I got this plant from Home Depot and this one really really loves um, bright and direct light um, it thrives the best in bright and direct light um, don't be putting it in some dark corner or anything like that because it won't do well and in our loft um, we actually have like really high ceilings so it really produces um, great lighting right in this corner which is a perfect spot for this plant right here so um, yeah it's really happy and it's doing really well and um, it's also Similar with this one, they're both rubber plants. This is a tamiki, and this one is a just a burgundy rubber plant. Yeah, so I love both of them very much, and yeah, really happy that they're doing well. Okay, so this is kind of my little plant nook corner that I have at our place, and coming here just I don't know brings a lot of joy to me. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, and now in this little corner here, I have my money plant tree. Um, as you can see, it has the braided stems kind of going up like that. And this one really produces a lot of leaves. It's crazy how much this grows. And if you look at it, it might look kind of fragile and stuff because the stems look pretty thin. But no, it's really... 
um, stiff and yeah it's strong and the, each leaf has like four um, leaves attached to each um, stem if you see here like four to five and then I have little babies sprouting oh my gosh look at that that is adorable yeah this one grows really fast and it's so luscious I love it and also <laughs> the interesting thing is the plant stand is really um, not plant stand the pot is actually a very awkward shape and height so it's really hard to find a pot for it but um, I went to Daiso one day and oh my gosh it's like I found the perfect pot it was only for like a dollar fifty and it fit perfectly I was so excited when I got home to try and when it fit I was like yes <laughs> so really happy about that and the name of this is oops, this right here and I also got this plant from Lowe's as well yeah so really happy with this one okay so if you see here we're at my coffee table now and I like to put these plants here during the day because it absorbs some good lighting. Um, we have some good bright light that kind of shines through um, our windows and here is a good place for them to kind of absorb that light. Okay, so this one on the left is my Pothos Enjoy. I got this guy from Lowe's. And I'm happy because it's starting to trail a little bit. It's a very hardy plant and it really doesn't take much um, to take care of it. It's very easy and um, yeah, it's really pretty. It has like really cute variegated um, patterns on it and it's like small and yeah, really adorable plant. And I did get this planter from TJ Maxx, I believe. This one on the right is my Diefenbachia. This one, um, just letting you know, is a poisonous plant. Um, you have to be careful because it is poisonous, first of all. And also when you're pruning or cutting the stems, um, you have to wear gloves. You don't want to have any of the liquid from the stem to get on you because it can cause irritation or um, other side effects or I'm not really sure, but um, definitely try to wear your gloves when you're taking care or handling this plant and also if you have pets or small children um, just be very aware of them um, nibbling on it or anything like that because it could cause um, numbness to their mouth or their tongue from what I heard so that's probably where they got the dumb cane nickname from <laughs> so um, just be careful, but other than that, it's a very popular house plant and a beautiful one as well. Um, oh, and also I am a little bit sad because my variegations on my leaves are kind of fading away on this plant. I'm not sure why. I tried moving it around different places and now kind of like just sitting it on this um, coffee table, I feel like it's absorbing a little bit more light, so maybe that can help. But yeah, I'm not really sure. So if you guys have any tips, please let me know. <laughs> That'll be very helpful. Um, yeah, I got this plant from Lowe's and this one from Lowe's. And this planter, I thrifted it. And yeah, it's really cute. And I also thrifted this um, basket tray as well. If you guys, by the way, want to like find some very affordable planters or vases or baskets, you should definitely check out your their stores nearby because they always have it really good tip okay so this is pretty much all my plants I have downstairs um, let's go upstairs now okay so this one is a peperomia It's also known as a happy bean plant um, it kind of acts like similar to a succulent and um, I don't know I don't really do that well with succulents or cactus or that type of species um, I kind of killed a few which is kind of sad but I don't know this one is doing quite well which I'm pretty surprised about I didn't have any issues with it just yet and um, yeah I also got this one from Lowe's 
right next to it is my string of bananas. This one, I didn't get a pot yet. Um, I got this one from Lowe's as well. It was $10.98. And this one really does grow quite fast. It's already starting to trail down. And it's so beautiful and luscious. I can't wait until it starts growing even more so it can like trail down and kind of look really nice upstairs from the downstairs um, looking up. So yeah, excited for this one. This one is my golden potos. Everyone, of course, owns one of these. The most hardy plants you can find. Definitely one of the best um, plants you should start off with if you're new to house plants. Um, this one also is so easy to take care of. And I'm so happy that mine is starting to trail down a little bit. And yeah, very, very easy plant. This one's the same, except it's like a baby version. And I got this one from Home Depot. And I think I got this one from Lowe's or where did I get you from? Yeah, I think it's Lowe's. I can just tell by the nursery pot. But yeah, they're both doing so well. I love them. Um, I also kind of keep like a humidifier um, next to next to the plants so that it kind of um, gives a little bit of more humidity upstairs because it gets kind of hot um, during the day sometimes or even in the evening. So I like to kind of um, have it here and also just to use as well. But yeah, another good tip because these are all um, tropical indoor plants. So um, they really love high humidity and that's how your plants will thrive. Okay. okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see all you guys again in my next one. Bye!